once upon a time, you know, back in 1876, there was a crazy guy called Alexander who went to the U.S., to the Western Union offices, uh, saying, hey, guys, I have a, a device that can actually make uh, remote phone calls. Uh, can you help me, like, with the distribution, etc.? because I want to sell this device? And the Western Union uh, gurus, let's call it this way, rejected the idea, saying that no family in the U.S. Uh, would ever install such a system in their homes, considering that they already have the ability of sending telegraphs, so welcome to mod mod modernity, uh, with uh, clear messages to every corner and every city of, of the US. Um, this guy, Alexander Graham Bell, it's called, a few months later, uh, he invented and he launched the first telephone uh, in the history of humanity, which as you may know, is one of the major revolutions in, in our history. So I think that Western Union's uh, directors should not be very happy about the rejection. So as you see, uh, I'm not here, I don't think I've been invited here to give you any kind of class, any kind of lesson. I think I've been invited here to talk about uh, crazy ideas. Um, and when I talk about crazy ideas, which, by the way, is, is, is my world. I like crazy people. I like crazy things. Uh, I like to scuba dive with white sharks and to do these kind of things. Um, I also talk about crazy ideas, but, but realistic ideas, ideas can, that can actually happen and that you can make them a reality. So I'm going to put you a challenge. And I know that you are not able uh, to answer my questions, I'm, I'm able to, to ask you questions, but you're not able to answer them, which is quite funny. But uh, I'm just going to imagine you're answering me, and I'm going to put a challenge. Imagine that I give you, first of all, imagine you have a, a, God hopes not, but imagine you have a cancer, okay? And I give you uh, two options. One of those options is uh, you are going to get a surgery to get cured from that cancer, by an average surgeon. Like, uh, for example, right now we are in Madrid, yes? Uh, in Spain, you know, there is this public system in which, as you know, public hospitals, uh, uh, you have a lot of trainees, resident people, they called, in which they operate, they operate patients to, to learn uh, techniques. So you have the option of getting operated by a resident, by a young surgeon, whatever you want to call it, or you have the option of getting remotely assisted by the best guy, the best surgeon in the world in that technique. What would you choose? Again, you cannot answer, <laughs> uh, which is quite uncomfortable, but uh, uh, I imagine 95% here, or even more, 99% here would follow the Western Union thoughts of saying, let's not go risky and let's just have the average surgeon operating on me. 1% will go the Hugo way, which is let's take the risk and let's do it. I want to have the best guy ever, the best cancer surgeon, whatever technique it is, operating, teleassisting me remotely. Uh, and that uh, is a crazy idea uh, for most of you. I don't know if you have heard in the news, but we are very proud. Uh, uh, to have done this for the first time in the world three months ago back in MWC Barcelona. MWC stands for Mobile World Congress Barcelona. We did the first uh, teleassisted surgery remotely operating a colon cancer patient through a laparoscopic sigmoidectomy, which is a laparoscopic approach, um, remotely. The, the surgeon who was teleassisting the case was four kilometers away from the patient. So this, uh, again, this sounded like a crazy idea for, for, for everyone, but it became a reality three months ago, and we're going to do it for the second time in the world uh, next June 28th in, in MWC Shanghai with more than 4,000 miles difference between the surgeon and the patient. So just to let you know that crazy ideas can become real ideas. How, does, how, how was that possible? You know, that's what everyone is asking. 
because of the famous uh, 5G technology. You know, right now, if you don't know anything about 5G, you're not cool. Uh, 5G is all over the news. You can see 5G, MWC, National Geographic, CNN, Fox News. Everyone says, hey, yeah, 5G is the future, 5G, blah, 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 5G, blah, blah, blah. But again, I'm going to ask you another question, and I know that you will not be able to answer me, uh, but I like rebel people, so if someone, if someone answers, don't worry. How many people in this room know what 5G is about? The, the, so with this light, I cannot see nothing, so <laughs> maybe everyone is raising their hand, and, and I'm just feeling like stupid, but, um, or maybe I'm just surrounded by the most clever minds in the world. So uh, I'm sure that you know what it is about, but I'm asking about the, the specifications of that technology, what that technology allows you to do. Uh, I, I'm not that clever like you are, so I didn't know that at the beginning. So I'm for the, just in case someone doesn't know about this, I'm going to do a brief explanation about what this technology is. And in this graphic here you see in my back, you can see a clear definition of, of the evolution. The first thing I'm gonna, I'm gonna do when talking about 5G is uh, to become our beloved mother of dragons from Game of Thrones and, and break the wheel, which means breaking the topic that 5G is the evolution of 4G. That's not true. Um, 1, 2G is the evolution of 1G, yes. 3G is the evolution of 2G, yes. 4G is the evolution of 3G, yes. But 5G is not the evolution of 4G. If you want to understand it like in, a, in another way, let's put it this way. 1G would be uh, the vinyl record, for example. 2G would be a CD from music. 3G would be, I don't know, uh, uh, a DVD to see a film. 4G would be Blu-ray. 5G would be internet, for you to understand the difference that gathers everything, you know, from Spotify, from Netflix, from AIS, from any, anything. It allows you to connect every single device uh, in real time. You know, when, when, when you ask about, when people talk about 5G, um, they always talk about speed. Hey, 5G is, is far away, faster than 4G, that's true. You know, in fact, 5G is 10, 10, 100, 100 times more faster than 4G, but its applications is, you know, are far bigger. You know, and the biggest one is latency. We were able to do the first teleassisted surgery during Mobile World Congress Barcelona in February 27, 2019 at 9.30 a.m. Thanks to 5G, thanks to Huawei and Vodafone. I know that Huawei right now has a lot of reputation, but anyway, uh, thanks to technology that developed by Vodafone and Huawei, we're able to do the first solicited surgery. And I want you to understand, I'm going to turn around every time now, and I want you to understand that uh, its main impact, why this is so important. Can you imagine the benefit of having the best doctor, the best surgeon, the best physician, whatever, whatever part he is in the world, he's in Paris, he's in Hong Kong, he's in Madrid, he's in Barcelona, he's in Sydney, he's in Melbourne, whatever, to, you know, to give his knowledge in real time with almost zero latency to whatever patient uh, back in, I don't know, in another, in another city, in another country, you know, to be operated, to be teleassisted by the best guy in, I don't know, in nephrectomies, in rectopexis, in TATMEs, whatever procedure, to be assisted in real time. Uh, can you imagine the social benefit that this has in, in society? And I'm going, and I want to focus on on, on, on a sentence very famous from Nelson Mandela that said that knowledge and education is the, the most powerful tool that you can use to change the world. And in fact, this is my, my motivation every day. We th I think and, and, and we think that this new technology, talking about 5G, should uh, apply especially to knowledge transfer uh, and education. Um, just, uh, I have two, mi two more minutes left. Uh, uh, so I'm going to go straight forward to my message. We need also to take in mind that technology uh, is, is powerful, but at the same time it's very dangerous. We need to be cautious. We don't, I'm sure that everyone in this room has seen the film Terminator, in which you know, these, these human beings invest so much money you know, in 
all these technologies until a, a, you know, a centralized brain called Skynet controls everything and they take over humanity, blah, blah, blah. So 5G regarding healthcare, regarding medicine, regarding surgery, that is our world, uh, should be controlled. You know, you're managing you know, millions of big data, you know, of, 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 of millions of patients. You, are, you, are, you have people's life you know, at stake. So I always said regarding technology, regarding innovation, never stop innovating, but always know, like Spider-Man's uncle said, uh, a great power means a great responsibility. As you see, I like movies. Uh, so remember that you need to be, to be cautious. And, and just to, to, to end up my presentation, because here they are, saying, they are telling me that I'm, you know, I need to, to stop. Uh, I want you to take this, this, this message home. You know, if there is one single message that you can take home, is this one. Uh, it can sound like a topic, but I'm, I'm 20, 28 years old. I'm, I'm a very young guy. I've been in your place. I, I did business management in Barcelona. Uh, I work in a, in a multinational company for six months and one day. Why six months and one day? Because the university made me work for six months, this, the day after I quit. Uh, <laughs> because um, I, I was not giving any kind of value to that company, you know? So I encourage you to follow your dreams. You know, I'm just thinking right now because I'm, I'm going to be very transparent with you. I'm improvising this talk. I haven't, I mean, right now I'm just thinking of different things. I remember Steve Jobs saying that you have to follow your intuition. You have to have the, the courage to follow your intuition. Uh, because it somehow knows what you truly want to become. So if you, have, if you have any crazy idea, no matter what crazy sounds, no matter what people tell you, just go for it. And let me also, to just to, to, to finalize this talk, that if possible, uh, do it in one of those, in one of the 17 markets. You know, here in the spin, you see 17 colors. These 17 colors represents the 17 uh, sustainable development goals that were recently launched by the United Nations, which is no poverty, uh, education worldwide, uh, gender equality, uh, justice, peace, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Why I say this? Because you have, you have any idea of a business, you know, to make your own, you know, to any kind of thing you want to do, I can guarantee you that because I have lived that. To make your own business successful is very, you know, will give you a full satisfaction. But if you do a business that is successful, but at the same time has an impact in society, I can guarantee you that uh, your, your, how can I say this? Your heart will be filled forever. So who is going to be the next crazy guy in this room? I hope, I hope someone here. So thank you very much, everyone.